empty backfield with White. Five wide receivers in the game. That's the pick off the bottom of your screen. White. Under pressure, loses the football, and Illinois has it. Jamal Milan coming up with the fumble after the pressure from Roundtree. And now they're saying incomplete pass. Want to take a look at this, but Bobby Second Roundtree. Down. Let's take a look at the quarterback's arm. Hard to see in real time as Roundtree beats him with an inside move. Oh, I don't know. Well. It looked like the hit moved his arm forward. They're going to review this one. I think he held the ball after the initial hit, and then here, does he move it forward? I don't know. Let's get some insight here from Dick Honig in our studio. Interesting one here, Dick. Well, Jay, I think you had it right. It sure looks like he possessed the ball after the hit and threw it down. But again, it's going to be up to the judgment of that replay official. If the ball is in the possession of the hand and it goes forward, it's an incomplete pass. There isn't any question about that. Uh, but as he's got to determine, the replay official has to determine if the ball came out as a result of the hit or the hand going forward. Look at it here. I mean, if that's a throw, and if the ball does go forward, if that's a throw or an attempted throw, it's pretty weak, as you see right here. I mean, he still has the ball after Roundtree hits him. I don't know, Dick, can you, can you help us there based on what you're seeing? I, I would say I, I would stay with the incompleted pass. Wow. We have the official notebook of the instant layout, so you never know what that could mean. <laughs> So what, what is that official writing down right now, just so we know that? Well, well, he's going to overturn it if he's uh, writing it down, generally. After reviewing the play, it's been determined that the ball was fumbled and recovered by the defense. Therefore, it will be first and ten at the nine-yard line for Illinois. 